You cannot talk about climate action, climate change, without putting at the center indigenous peoples as right and knowledge holders that can provide valid solutions. There are more than 476 million indigenous peoples living in more than 90 countries in several sociocultural regions. What is important about the indigenous peoples is that they live in the most pristine ecosystems in the world. It can protect up to 80% of the remaining biodiversity in the planet. They have not contributed to climate change, but they are the front line suffering climate change, so they don't understand that they are not allowed participation in the real discussions. They are not sitting at the decision tables with the countries to talk about policies and to talk about climate action. The moment these indigenous people's food systems disappear, the moment that the spoken languages, more than 4,000 by indigenous peoples disappear, there will be a deterioration on biodiversity and on the environment and ecosystems. And these connections often are not well understood by technicians and practitioners, unfortunately. COP28 is yet another opportunity to increase the work that FAO is doing with indigenous peoples. We have a coalition on indigenous people's food systems and we discuss how to advance the agenda of indigenous people's food systems in the context of climate change. This is very relevant for the next COP.